Hello, it's great to be back with all of you. Brian Jordan here, Executive Director of the Kansas Association of School Boards. I wanted to take a little bit of time today and talk a little bit about some upcoming things happening with our association. You may or may not have heard that we are planning a listen, learn, and lead tour across the state of Kansas in January and February. The, pur the purpose behind this is to get out and engage with our members talking specifically about what your needs are in your local district, how KSB can continue to improve their service and support for your local districts. We hope to engage with the leadership of the boards of education all across the state of Kansas in every region of different sized districts. We tend to use that information to help us craft our plan going forward uh, in our next cycle of strategic planning as an association. KSB is coming up on kind of the end of the current strategic plan we've been operating on and we want to make sure that what we do for you is still in sync with your needs. We've got a lot of things that have happened over the course of the last several years in the state of Kansas coupled with an election that just recently happened and we want to make sure that what we're doing and providing for you uh, is of great value and continues to meet the needs that you have locally. We also have just recently, I believe in the last couple of weeks, launched a member needs survey that's asking you specific questions around how you'd like to receive your information, what are the best types of supports that we offer, where can you access the information, and we encourage you to continue to take that survey if you have not done so yet. We have over 200 people that have already responded to that and have given us some great feedback that will be also used on that tour when we travel around the state. We're hoping to take some of that information from that survey, engage with our board members from around the state around if they are seeing the same things in their region and trying to make sure that their, their needs are being met as association overall. Some of the things that that survey gets into are the obstacles that your district is currently facing, the services that we provide and how we can do a better job at, at adjusting those or making sure that those meet your needs, uh, and, and then other methods that you would like to see us use to engage with you, improve our communication with your membership. Uh, we've continued to try to tweak those things as we've gone over the last few years and some very challenging times of offering more Zoom and online options for board members and school leaders. We, we fully anticipate continuing to do that, but we want to make sure that we're doing it at times of the day and in methods and on topics that are really relevant to what you all see as your, as your greatest needs. We know that uh, a lot of you are going through the process right now of trying to build a new board team. You have some new board members that have come on. Uh, our legal staff, our leadership staff here at the association is, is ready to engage and willing to help with those. I, I would encourage you to reach out to those folks and ask questions. I know there's a lot of things that boards are trying to work through, trying to understand how do we, how do we bring these new values, beliefs, and ideas around the table and keep us focused on the most important thing, which is our students' needs. So reach out, give us a call. Uh, we want to hear from you. We want to make sure that what we are offering is of great value to you and your local districts. And lastly, I want to thank all of you for uh, your courage to step out there and lead in these times. Uh, I know that the last few years have been challenging and I know that it takes a lot of courage to stay in that role as a leader, not only on your local board, but as a leader for your district. So thank you for doing that and we continue to look forward to supporting you as we go forward and in the, supporting you in those roles as we go forward. Uh, again, I would ask you to call us, email us if you ever have questions or wonder if KSB can help us with those needs. We're here to help and serve you in that regard. So thank you.